North Carolina Democratic Senator Kay Hagan says she would oppose ending tax cuts for the so-called middle class. We caught up with her recently at an event at NC State University at which she was getting a look at new manufacturing technology. We asked her if she would support extending several tax cuts that are slated to expire. Well, I know this is a, a deadline at the end of the year. I strongly support keeping the tax cuts for the middle class families. I need to go and look at the research for the other tax cuts that are in the bill. Does it Wouldn't this be a good time for the economy and instead of uh, raising the revenue for the deficit to actually give people the tax cuts? Well, I want to be sure that anybody making anywhere from 250000 on down has a middle class tax cut, that those extensions stay in place. I'm looking forward to seeing the Deficit Commission's report, which should be coming to us at the end of December. Our own Erskine Bowles is co-chairing that. It's been meeting now for a number of months with their report in December. And I think that Erskine is the right person for that job. He was Clinton's chief of staff the last time we had a balanced budget in this country. And I think he will bring a lot to the table to, uh, as to what that committee actually decides and, and the research that's going on. An analysis would show the senator that ending any of the tax cuts would have a blow on who she calls a middle class. When you look at the, the secondary impacts of what happens when you do uh, raise tax rates or, or maintain high level of tax rates on people of that income level, is that it distorts the incentive system for those folks, uh, small businesses in particular, uh, their, decision, their decision of whether or not to expand their business, which would include uh, hiring more people, uh, as the tax rate is higher, then that obviously lowers the return of investment on, uh, on an expansion or new business venture. So, so you have to question, well, how many new uh, businesses or new jobs will never be created because that rate of return is lowered on account of the higher tax rate? So certainly uh, these hiring decisions and, and slower economic growth that results is, is going to impact those at the margins of employment, the lower skilled workers, lower income people. So certainly the secondary effects uh, even if uh, the direct tax rate is only applied to income earners above that, that level, secondary impacts will certainly be felt pretty hard by, by the rest of the people in the labor force. Even the number $250,000 Hagen and others use to determine a middle class level is arbitrary. Right, probably a, a fairly random number put out there, but probably also based a little bit on uh, some research done by political strategists that uh, they, can, they can target this small segment of voters uh, a, a, at the expense of others uh, or in an attempt to gain favor from the, the larger majority of voters. Uh, so it's really kind of a class envy play trying to uh, uh, the majority of voters say, hey, don't tax me, tax that other guy, they've got a lot of money. So it's really kind of a politi politically motivated number in my, in my estimation. North Carolina's other senator, Republican Richard Burr, is already on record wanting to extend the tax cuts right now. That's the Civitas Report. I'm Matt Willoughby.